What is up people? This is XOOX and I'm just here to give you a small status update. I've been absent, I realized that. Um, didn't follow up uh, the previous video with the jackhammer and chainsaw. And the reason being I was just, you know, enchanted into trying Alan Wake 2, which is a great game by the way, but never mind. Um, but today, I just did a six hour uh, stream marathon with the front. And that actually gave me the opportunity to show you now the progress of what is to become my new location and new base. And yes, it will be easier to see once the sunrise has come up a little bit more. So basically what we're looking at here is I wanted to really try and make a more factory style area with a lot more organized storage facility this almost looks like a rack storage doesn't it <laughs> um but i think like i was facing the issue of constantly waiting for a furnace or a smelter to deal with one t task and then another one and i've already tried in sunken land uh, with having s uh, multiple smelters uh, or in general just items that do work that you use a lot so like a fortune table you're probably going to be making this and maybe at the same time you want to make parts so for me if it does make sense to have several up the same table just to make yourself more efficient and uh, right now my argument is i only need to make the foundations because we aren't getting raided so we don't need walls we don't need roofs because it's not gonna rain and ice and all that snow so the, the environment is stable so basically I just need a, a, a you know sort of a blueprint, blueprint layout uh, where I can place my items in, in kind of organized way so this is what I've done so here we have the crafting area uh, you see at some point I do plan on you know making more natural looking or finished look with walls and roofs so I've made three structure benches, benches just so we can make all those items really fast. Four smelters, and I'm almost like, maybe it's not even enough. Um, because some of the items like steel takes so long to smelt. Down here we have the factory. Currently my truck is parked up there, but I did provide space for a few vehicles to be parked here. Decided to do two paralyzers because I thought they were slow as well. Factory just one. Yeah, and then the storage. And I'm I really like organized stuff. So you can see organics, minerals, dust and grain, and then we have recipes and items. And basically what this is is this is only gonna be wood. This is only gonna be fiber. This is only gonna be hide. And then leather and so on. And you get the drift, right? So yeah. It's starting to take shape. But yeah, the old base is still located and partly existing where it was before down by the beach. Um, but I have begun dismantling it. I'm just waiting with dismantling the last few pieces until I have recreated them here to avoid any problems with, you know, demands of you need this bench before you need that one and so on. So yeah, that's just the last thing I, I need. And then it's going to be a very, very long uh, resource haul at some point to fill the storage. So I can just kind of let everything be working on its own for a while while I go search for stuff. My new house. First floor as well. Nothing much, but it, you know, it's all that's needed. So yeah. So yeah, come back, stay tuned. There's a lot more to be seen here in all fairness. Uh, yeah, also there's this uh, planning on making a field area here or farmland. Uh, once I get my the large crop planters, I'll start filling these in and uh, maybe get a two more levels or so. So we kind of get this little uh, garden going here. Which will also be very organized. And it's just, you know, it's just a beautiful place, this one, to be uh, to be using as a base. 
This is in K7. You see right here. KJ7. So, yeah, right next to the little harbor city or harbor town. It's uh, nice and open and decently flat, you know, in terrace kind of style. So it slopes softly down towards the river, which is a great place. I did try going a bit further south, but it, there wasn't really any places like this or the beach which had, which had the kind of openness the same way, allowing, you know, uh, more, more freedom in building, uh, in how you organize the buildings. So yeah, I'm pleasantly, uh, I'm feeling pleasantly happy about this place so far. So yeah, this is my project for now. We'll have to recreate the maze and also this look relocation uh, enables me to kind of put a lot more thinking into how it's been made. I've been checking out uh, the, the front uh, maze event contests. And it's very inspiring. People are coming up with very nice maze ideas. So yeah, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Try and recreate that. Um, I hope the beacon can be placed in a sensible way. So I don't have to move any parts of the base or anything. But yeah. So yeah, that's just a short video on what's going on and what you can expect. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you for stopping by and please drop a like, subscribe, follow, notifications, all that if you feel like it. If you don't, that's fine. I'm doing these anyways. And uh, yeah, have a nice Sunday. Take care. Bye.